everyone today I'm going to show you how to put on your brand new scoots when you first get them in the mail and um, these are my new scoots and there's my two boots with the triogators piston straps and toe straps and I got a little spare packet with spare piston straps spare toe straps because it's harder to put scoot boots on some horses than it is on others, I will show you today how to put your new scoot boots on, on three of my horses. This is boy, he has a size five. They're always a little bit hard to put on with him. Pick up, come on. So I hold the boot at the toe. Then I make sure that I push his toe in all the way. And here at the back, I do have to pull the triagators out a little bit so that I can then push it over his heels. I like to close the toe straps while the hoof is still in my hand. I find that easier this way. And then I put his foot down and close the piston strap so that one finger fits comfortably. This is our oldie Ted. He's 25 and he has a size 3 slim. So these are his brand new boots. Come on. Oh, should have opened them first. Open the toe straps and I only open one side of the piston strap and keep the other side attached so I don't lose any. Again, hold your boot by the toe, push the toe right in and then push it over the heel bulbs. As you can see, that's much easier than boys. Again, I close the toe straps, put his foot down Good man. And close the piston strap so I can fit one finger comfortably. This is Tilly. She's my daughter's pony and she wears a size 2 regular. These are her new scoots. And I've got my hoof pick here to close the toe straps because I know Tilly always has quite a um, big toe gap in new scoots and it's easier to close the toe straps with the hoof pick. Pick up. Come on girl. So hold your boot by the toe, make sure you push that toe in all the way and then pushing it over the heel. I will stand her foot down, good girl. I want to close the piston strap first, make sure there's enough room comfortably for one finger and then I will close the toe straps. Pull it over with my hoof pick and I only have to do it like that for the first couple of times and then I can close the toe straps without a hoof pick. Just takes a little while to stretch a little. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to evaluate the fit of your scoot boots. If this is your first time using scoots, it's very important that you check the fit before you use them so that you can exchange them without the hassle. If you need any advice on how to put the boots on, please check out our other video. This is my horse boy, he's 13 and he wears a size 5. Now for the purpose of this video I've taken the gaiters off so that you can see better what's happening. Um, but please always use your gaiters when you use scoots. Good boy. So boys um, boots are always a lot harder to put on than the ones from my other horses but I do know that this is the correct size as he's been using them for four years without any issues of rubbing or coming off. Now the first thing I want to look at is at the top of the boot here there shouldn't be a gap. The boot should be nice and snug against the hoof wall all the way around. The toe straps there should be some tension on the toe straps. The toe gap is quite small on boy, but the boots have always stayed secure. Now at the heels, again, you should be able to force a finger in there. It's quite tight, but because they are brand new boots, that is perfectly fine. It's important to know that scoots do stretch slightly within the first few hours of riding. 
So the fit of a brand new scoot will be slightly different than the fit of a boot that has been used before. To show you what I mean, I've got boys of well used size 5 here, these are 4 years old and I will put this one on his other foot to show you the difference. Pick up. Good boy. So you notice straight away they're much easier to slip on. Still a little hard but easier than the brand new one. Put it down. There's not a lot of tension on the toe straps. Up here the boot is nice and snug against the hoof wall. There's no gaps. And at the heel here you can see I can very comfortably push my finger in there. Well compared to the brand new boot, the brand new boot is much tighter at the heel. Now this is Tilly. She's 20 this year and she's my youngest daughter's pony. She has a size 2 regular and um, I'll show you how they fit on her. Again for the purpose of this video I'm taking the gaiters off so you'll be able to see a little bit better how they fit on the heels. Now you notice Tilly's boots are a lot easier to push over the heels than boys were. But the toe gap is quite wide. So to help me close the toe straps, I'm just using my hoof pick, pulling the toe strap over the hook. And you only need to do that for the first few rides and then the toe straps will stretch a little bit and it won't be so tight anymore. Now to evaluate the fit again, first I'm looking at the top here, that's nice and snug. The toe gap is beautifully even, perfect um, size. And at the heel here you can see I can very comfortably push my finger in there. Even though these are brand new boots, so there's a lot more room here than on boy. But Tilly has a lot bigger toe gap. So this is just to show you that there is different fits depending on the individual horse. Um, the boot won't always look the same on each horse. Now we're going to do the wiggle test. For that, please pick up your horse's hoofs. Good girl. Grab the boot and give it a little wiggle. You can see her hoof wiggles with the boot, but the boot is nice and secure. Um, again, I know that this size is the correct size for Tilly because she's been using them for quite some time without any issues, no rubbing, and they've never come off. Now to show you the difference, I will put her well-used size 2 onto the other side. You notice this one goes on the same as the other. Good girl. But the toe straps on this one have stretched already, so I can easily close them with my fingers alone. Close that piston strap. Now again, I'm looking at the top here, nice and snug. The toe gap is a little smaller than on the brand new boot. And at the back here, again, I can fit my finger in very comfortably. Now, today I want to talk to you a little bit about evaluating the fit once you receive your scoots. Now, ideally, I'd love to be there for every single one of you and check the fit of your new scoots when you receive them. But because we're here in Australia, I can't do that. So I thought the next best thing would be if you could take some pictures for me when you first receive your scoots. So one front on picture and a side on picture. 
make sure that I can see the whole of the hoof in the boot and please make sure that there's no gaiters attached at the back so I can see how much room there's between the heel straps and the heel bulbs. Um, in doing that I, I'm hoping to minimize any problems you might have if you don't have a perfect fit. Please send your pictures to sizing at scootboots.com and this way I'll be able to evaluate the fit of your scoots. If you have any more questions or any other issues, please don't hesitate to email or call us. We are always here to help.